Hello children, welcome to the social science class. Today we are going to learn a new topic in geography. Do you remember studying about our earth in the previous chapter? Tell me, what is the shape of the earth? The shape of the earth is geoid. Right, very good. The earth is slightly flattened at the poles and bulged in the center. Hence its shape is called geoid. Children, in order to locate places on earth, we need certain reference points and lines. In today's class, we are going to learn more about such lines. First, we will learn about the latitudes. Are you all ready? To learn more about latitudes, first we should have a clear idea about our globe. Globe is the true model of the earth. I repeat, globe is the true model of the earth. There are various types of globes, various sizes and types. There are very small pocket globes which is very easy to carry anywhere you want. There are big globes and even globe like balloons. The globe is not fixed. See, it can be rotated. The earth rotates west to east. Similarly, we can also rotate the globe. Can you see the needle over here? These needles joins the North Pole and the South Pole. This is the imaginary line which passes through the center of the Earth from North Pole to the South Pole. And this globe is not straight, it is tilted. So the imaginary lines that is drawn from the North Pole to the South Pole and passes through the center of the Earth is called axis. The Earth moves on its axis. Children, is there a real axis on the earth? No, the axis is just an imaginary line. You imagine that there is a line on the center of the earth. Apart from the axis, there are many other lines. They are also imaginary, which help us to locate the places. First, we will learn about the imaginary lines called latitudes. Imaginary lines that run from east to west on the earth are called latitudes. In other words, latitudes are the angular distance measured in degrees. It tells us how far from equator any place happens to be. The most important latitude that divides the earth into two is the equator. The equator divides the earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Since the distance from equator to either the poles are one fourth of a circle. It is one by four of 360. What is one by four of 360? S 90. So there are 90 latitudes in the northern hemisphere and 90 in the southern hemisphere. The latitudes become smaller and smaller as we move towards the poles to the north pole and the south pole. But the distance between two latitudes are always the same. In order to fix or locate a place more precisely on the earth, it is not just enough to know about the latitudes. We should also learn about the longitudes because latitudes and longitudes together help us to locate places. Longitudes are also imaginary lines. They are also called as meridians. Longitudes are drawn from north to south. They connect the north pole and the south pole. So what is the definition of the longitudes? Longitudes are imaginary lines that are drawn on the earth from north to south. They are also measured in degrees. The longitude that passes through Greenwich near London is called the prime meridian and it is the reference point to locate the places all over the world. This longitude, the prime meridian and the 180th longitude together just divides the earth into two equal halves. That is the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. The distance between the longitudes are measured in degrees. Each degree is further divided into minutes and minutes into second. The meridians touch each other at the 
north pole and the south pole the distance between the meridians become smaller and smaller as we go towards the poles the biggest distance is near the center of the earth there are 180 meridians in the eastern side and the 180 meridians in the left so there are total 360 longitudes there is something interesting to note here that is the 180th eastern longitude and 180th western longitude are the same line when we mark the longitudes we use the letter e and w indicating east and west now that we have learned about latitudes and longitudes can we just do a comparative study between latitudes and longitudes are you all ready okay first latitudes run from east to west longitudes from north to south there are total 181 latitudes and 360 longitudes the distance between two latitudes are always the same whereas the distance between longitudes becomes smaller and smaller as we go to the poles so these are the main differences between latitudes and longitudes and which is the most important latitude the most important latitude is equator and whereas the most important longitude is the prime meridian the latitudes and longitudes crisscross each other and they form a network this network is called grid the network of latitude and longitude is called grid it is this grid which help us to locate the exact position of a place for example if you take the place Dubri in Assam the latitude 26 degree north pass through this place and longitude 90 degree east these two lines meet at the point and this point is Dubri in Assam likewise we can find out the exact location of any place on the earth using the latitudes and longitudes apart from finding or locating the places we can also determine time using longitude longitude help us to determine the time when the prime meridian of Greenwich has the Sun exactly overhead that time is 12 noon at Greenwich not only Greenwich all the places on the same longitude it will be 12 noon the time is adjusted accordingly all over the world the earth rotates west to east and it, it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation that is 360 degrees whichever place is eastwards have the time ahead of Greenwich and west have behind if any place is located 15 degree apart on the eastern direction its time will be 1 p.m. when it is 12 noon in Greenwich and any place that is located 15 degree westwards the time will be 11 a.m. so when we take India India which is located eastwards the time difference between India and Greenwich is five and a half hours India located on the east and the central longitude which passes through Allahabad in India is 82 and a half degree east so the time difference is five and a half hours children you know that we have a standard time for India the Indian standard time is as I told you five and a half hours ahead of Greenwich mean time the time difference between the sunrise in the easternmost part of India in Arunachal Pradesh and westernmost part of India in Gujarat is approximately 1 hour 45 minutes every place have a local time that is when the Sun is exactly overhead at any given place and if we adjust the time or our watch accordingly then that time is the local time but if we have different local times it is very difficult for us to travel or for any other purpose so we have a standard time in India 82 and half degree latitude is taken as the central meridian and the time at Allahabad is the time for all over India that is the standard time of India 
so we all adjust our time according to the indian standard time india has only one time zone there are countries which have many time zones there are 11 time zones in russia whereas we have only one time zone in india total there are 24 time zones in the world so we learned that longitudes help us to determine time longitudes along with the latitudes help us to locate a place precisely on the earth so in this chapter you learn that latitudes and longitudes are very important imaginary lines which help us hope you all understood the concept meet you soon with another topic thank you children